got uh, a couple more speakers right away, and I do want to officially welcome everybody. We, we kind of got away from a chance to welcome you. I think I know everybody in the room, but I'm Owen Perkins, and I'm the captain for uh, House District 2B, and Ellie Lewis here is the co-captain, and we've got um, Barry Sarver, the chair of House District 2, and do we have any other officers in the room? Uh, yes, yeah. Alan Schlesman is the vice chair for House District 2. Um, we've got the volunteer of the year, Sarah Bradley, and last year's volunteer of the year, Ellis McFadden. <laughs> so it's a star-studded group you're with here today. Um, and on the subject of Ken Gordon, uh, you know, I, we're going to hear from a couple past legislators right now who may want to talk about Ken, may want to talk about other things, we don't know. But uh, I, two quick points about Ken. When I first, the first time I met him, I think he asked for my email list. <laughs> which is very typical, and, and so many people know him through his email, so he was constantly building that, and that was always a great, um, a great source of joy for all of us who received his emails. But uh, the other thing that I think is a fantastic testament to Ken is that if you go knocking doors in Denver and talk to people about campaign finance reform, they will bring up Ken Gordon. Um, when that subject comes up, they, they bring up Ken Gordon without any prompting. And that is a wonderful tribute to his work, that that, that is sunk in the minds of the people and that's meaningful to the people. I mean, I think at, at time when you knock doors and talk about health care, people are going to mention Irene Aguilar. Uh, but that, that's a great tribute that I just wanted to pass along. But now I'd like to introduce um, one of our uh, great former senators, Senator Polly Baca, who's here, and a great friend of mine who I got to know very well uh, through the convention two years ago. But uh, here's Senator Polly Baca. Well, I'm delighted to be here, and I was noticing something, that uh, if you look at the pictures that without color, you know, black and white, you never see more than two women yeah. in the state Senate. That's it. Now, I was elected as the first minority woman in the Senate, and they got color. Right here. <laughs> literally. 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 All the other uh, photographs are, are in color, and, uh, and I was the third woman, so I expanded the number of women in the state set it to three. And if, just a, a little historical note, this last door on the right, when I first got elected to the Senate, there used to be a sign that said, private, legislative man only. Oh. Oh my gosh. And then they, then they finally restored you know, this, uh, the, the chamber, the, uh, this whole floor. And guess who has that sign? You do. I do. <laughs> I got it, and it's in my it's in my office, right up there on my door. <laughs> but I'm I'm so delighted that that Owen has invited me. Well, has invited all of us to be here, and, and to honor Ken this morning. You know, he was an incredible, incredible uh, statesman, and he he certainly kept us kept us all in line. You know, made sure that we we did the right thing. By, by going forward and, and uh, trying to do what we could to uh, get money out of politics. We still need a, we still have a lot of work to do, but, but with Ken, uh, I think Ken's still with us. You know, he's, he's kind of watching us all and making sure that we keep, continue moving forward. And I think we'll feel his presence this morning. And again, I want to thank you for being here and thank particularly Owen for, for making this all happen. And, and I'm delighted to join you. Thank you. Thank you.